Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right Aquarius, let's see how you come into the day. All right, let's see. Ooh, all three of these cards came in uh thief wealthy man community so you some of you could be in a masculine you could be a man all right and somebody's stealing from you i don't feel like this is a feminine energy like you're if you're feminine then there no one is stealing from you um if you're a, a man someone could be stealing or stealing your work or trying to steal your thunder these are people that you work around or work for you or you're working with you're something in tandem um they could just be stealing from you because they feel like you have an endless amount of money you're not going to make too much fuss of fuss about where the money um, is going um there also is a wealthy man trying to put something together also behind the scenes trying to bring everybody together to do something what is this wealthy man trying to do? One more card. Can we have one more card for what this wealthy man is trying to do? Um, okay, false person. Definitely somebody stealing, lying, cheating. This wealthy man could have a lot of different people that they're seeing, dating, dealing with. They're trying to act like they aren't lying, cheating, st stealing, taking. Um, but they are, they have a community of people that they do this with. Something is completely over. Somebody's done. All right. Um, let's start to clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, go here. Uh, what is the thief card? What is the thief card? What is the thief? What is the thief? Somebody's very fortunate here. Very, very lucky. Very fortunate. And there is a community of people taking from this man, Aquarius man, please watch your finances, watch what your, you know, your ideas, patent your stuff. I don't know, whatever you need to do to, con you know, protect your intellectual property, protect your finances. Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like somebody's actively stealing from you. And it also could be in an entrepreneurial type of endeavor. Um, there's a lot of hats in the ring. There's a lot of um, irons in the fire. So again, it's like somebody is saying like, you won't miss it or you don't, you won't make too much fuss over it, over them stealing from you. Clarify wealthy man, clarify wealthy man, clarify wealthy. And, and, and in terms of love, this wealthy man is having sex, doing all kinds of things with, you know, um, other people, engaging with other people. Clarify wealthy man. Oh, 10 of coins. That's what I'm saying. They feel like you, you're not going to miss it. You have enough. We can take a few of these coins. Community, clarify community here. And it could be people who are helping you do something, helping you bring something to fruition. Because the community card talks about houseworkers and like, you know, the, the help, how, uh, maids and, uh, you know, um, babysitters wh whoever you have in your life in your business life that's helping you and not helping you for free you're paying these people that's why they're stealing from you uh four of swords yeah they're, they're not doing anything with the money or with you with the time or with the projects that you give them they're very leisurely lazy not doing anything with it you need to follow up with these people what is false person what is false person Somebody's definitely having sex with someone else here in terms of love. And they're taking a break. They're taking a break from uh, maybe you, Aquarius. Let's see. False person. Chariot in the uh, Page of Wands. So um, getting away with. It's like the chariot is very self-directed, self-centered, um, self interest so somebody is really just interested the eights are about money to other people's money so maybe this person's just interested in your money could be a cancer wanting to reconcile make up with you by way of sex could even want to give you something could be sexually transmitted i don't know it could be a sexually transmitted um uh um not disease but you know a spirit or you know they're trying to 
give you uh transmit those demons onto you that negative energy onto you so it's like somebody's coming just to take okay especially if you're a uh, masculine energy this is definitely for my masculines here somebody's coming just to take and for my feminines we can excuse me we can switch this around there's somebody who they have a lot of money They could be planning something. What is this person planning? Is it good or is it bad? I mean, we got a lot of the bad cards. It's good. And I was getting that some of you, this person could be planning like for you to move with them and engagement. It's like they're trying to get everybody together so that then they can do something maybe publicly. Um, yeah propose something promote you publicly but they're trying to hide this from you with the ten of cups yeah um let's see what is the advice what's the advice for aquarius here what's the advice advice for aquarius in terms of this reading Jeez. Valentine's Day, love day. So Valentine's Day could have been significant for you. Maybe some of you reconcile, rekindled on Valentine's Day. Uh, maybe they are trying to propose to you so that you guys can be married by next Valentine's Day. Wow, house. I don't know if this person is trying to buy a house or do you got the Ten of Cups or my valentine's day or they want a relationship they definitely want a solid relationship they were unkind or somebody is unkind especially um in terms of career finance or if you paying people to do stuff for you you need to follow up mixed race mixed uh somebody could be mixed race okay and then also this talks about somebody has like mixed um uh, ideas yeah like one minute they're doing this and they're doing they're trying to be in control of their emotions and their thoughts they're stuck they need to be honest with you about how they're feeling right now i don't think that they don't want you but they just don't know which way to go um and then somebody is not honest also let's see Somebody's also stuck on you if they were to be honest with you. Somebody's of two minds about reaching out to you. They definitely love you. Whomever this is. They're definitely suspended. Could be dealing with a Pisces. They're trying to figure out if this is a good idea to come towards you, to propose something to you. They, will you like it? Will you be seduced? They're in a state of fear like they don't know what to do how to come to you what is all of this about what is this person trying to plan with this community and false person all right what is this person trying to plan with community and false person I don't think that those are the right cards. What is this person trying to plan? Oh, oh, okay. Don't want to do this. Okay, so what is this person trying to plan with community and false person? Sudden wealth. Like they're trying to do something. Make something happen all of a sudden. Maybe they want to make things right. 777, seven, seven, they want to get on the right page with you. Um, They want main mail. It's like they're trying to go from this person is in deep thought about get this privileged lady how to come towards her how to bring her into the family they just keep thinking about this over and over again what is this about what is this person trying to plan they got a lot of hopes and dreams and wishes what I think they're they I want to say they're trying to plan like an engagement but then they go or plan something about moving we didn't have house 
toil and labor this hard adjudication yeah I don't know what this person is trying to play in Aquarius. The cards don't want to tell us. Maybe they want to keep it a surprise, right? Um, it's like we did ask if it was good. It is good. Maybe this person is trying to plan a, a pop-up. They want to talk to you. Somebody's also trying to plan something very nice for somebody who has really high standards, the privileged lady. Maybe how to bring her into the family, into um, this talks about into their life, the intimate parts of somebody's life here. Somebody stuck though. We had that come out like their imprisonment about what they should do, how they should do it. They've got all these different ideas and dreams. They just don't know what to do about how to make this fast change. Um, they feel like this is a lot of work, a lot of tough work here. Um, they may need the help of another party, of a third party here. It's like all of a sudden they just want you to move in with them. Is this person planning for Yeah This person could be planning for We have main male pop out They want the main female to marry them Move with them they want, You could be dealing with this person For one to two years They want this to be solid They've got a lot of fear Somebody's like just trying to plan. Let's get some advice from the tarot. What is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius in terms of their person? Whoa. The Emperor. This person is, is boss. Queen of Wands. Yeah. They, they want you. They want you. You are the missing piece. It's got that chest piece there. Um, you've been attracting, or you've been manifesting. Are you trying to, you know, attract a husband, uh, a provider, a protector, someone that you can share life with? Um, it looks like it's here for you because she's got all these candles around her with the staff. And the staff is about magic. She's got her black cat and all these candles. And he's well established. He's been through a lot. He makes good decisions. Advice for Aquarius via the Tarot. Whatever you want to tell Aquarius spirit. Whoa. Cards are flying out. Whoa, Eight of Wands. And I always look at this. Now I'm looking at the King of Cups as a husband. This is a husband. You have been attracting this. This is law of attraction. This is doing it more staffs. You've been doing that energy magic work. Trying to bring this in. This is somebody who makes a good husband. He's patient. Uh, caring. Compassionate. Emotionally uh, mature. Balanced. He's concerned about business. Yeah, it's like Aquarius woman, you've been attracting a husband. This might be somebody you already know with the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Because it's like you have to, this is age of Aquarius too. It's like a decision needs to be made. Um, this is releasing the ego, free from the ego, letting it go relinquishing really understanding wow with the sun card this is beautiful you've been on this spiritual journey for a while aquarius and it looks like things are coming into your fruition what you've been manifesting it's coming by way of a husband whomever so you got some clues here whoever you spent valentine's day with maybe at their house oh or maybe at your house but valentine's day with this it might be this person oh somebody said why are they not talking to me mm. um why is this person not talking to aquarius maybe they're trying to get a lot in order why is this person not talking to Aquarius? whoa whoa they trying to get a lot in order aquarius the temperance card literally says <laughs> 
get your life in order. Jesus. This person trying to get their life in order. Aquarius so it's like they don't need you interfering. They already know how they feel about you. You may be feeling ignored and not acknowledged, but that's it can be furthest from the truth. It's like they're doing some calculations. Um they're making some irrevocable changes. I heard paperwork. Whoa, they're trying to make you the wife, Aquarius. That's the wife. This is the embodiment of the Empress. So this is when it's real. The Empress is an archetype. So it's like, you know, like a characteristic, right? But this is the embodiment of the Empress. So they're trying to they're trying to give you the pentacle, the ring, boo. Wow, they're trying to, they really, the wow. Okay, so this is why they're not talking to you. You may, you may feel like, you know, being, feel like you're being ignored or you got used. They're trying to get their life in order. Maybe even their health. They're trying to get everything in order. Wow. Okay. I'm going to leave it there for you. If it resonates for you, let me, wow. Divine Feminine. That's how they look at you. No more theatrics. Whoa, no more hiding secret affairs. And that, it, oh, I can't make this up. Look at this. Engagement ring and masculine. And we have feminine come out. All right, Aquarius. Invite me to the wedding, girl. Um, congratulations, even before it's happened for some of you. Okay, we won't jinx it, right? Um, but you know what we'll do? We'll manifest. So if you want this energy to happen for you, you know it's going to happen for you. I want you to type congratulations all down in the comment section. When I scroll that comment section, we should see so many congratulations and balloons and rings and congratulations, you know, all down. There. If this is what you want to happen for you, if this is your story, if this is what you want your story to be, Aquarius, type it down in the comment section, all right? This is what I have for you. Um, all links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, um, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two. Is this my story? Is this person going to get it? Propose me? Text it to the number below. Come check me out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I answer your questions, okay? Um, get your own personal reading. They're affordable. Okay, go over to the community tab, get a discount code, and then head over to the website and book, right? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Make sure to type your congratulations down there in the comment section because we're about to bring this energy in right now, okay? And uh, congrats, girl, and congrats, guy. All right, take care. Bye.